fare proprio well. Today I will read from a book titled Interior Garden, Johanna Titke, Hannah Hock, Scott Robin, edited by Lea Pires and published by Hattie Kantz. Interior and exterior, private and public, cultivated and wild. A black and white portrait of Hannah Hock places her amidst a photographic balances of translucent and reflective layers. Peering through the window of her home in the Heiligen Sea area in Berlin, the artist hovers over a windowsill lined with potted plants, cacti and flowers. Her body is overlaid with reflections of trees, bushes and the gridded windows of her winter garden. These extensions of her home also functioned as protective barriers against the political turmoil beyond its perimeter. The artist moved here at the onset of World War II, at a time when she faced increasing persecution for her avant-garde artistic practice and her unflagging opposition to National Socialism. The modest house and its large enclosed garden would serve as her studio, retreat and refuge during wartime and for decades to follow. The artist's garden was of tremendous personal significance. It was a muse and a source of emotional support during many years spent in solitude and it also served material ends. The garden's fruits and vegetables were a vital source of sustenance and its soil offered a hiding place for her priceless collection of Dada artworks and correspondence, which were under threat after having been deemed degenerate by the National Socialist regime. The fascist concept of degeneracy extended to horticulture classifying the non-native plants cultivated by Hawk as abnormal and unwelcome. Yet, in this photograph, Hawk is pictured amidst her sanctuary, enveloped by the world that she created within the walls of her garden. She almost merges with the foliage that faithfully camouflaged and protected her during wartime. Eight decades after Hawk first moved to Heiligensee, the Berlin-based artists Scott Robin and Johanna Tietke come to her garden, which continues to thrive, seeking to excavate its rich history through a new body of observational drawings and large-scale collage works. This book unfolds an intergenerational dialogue between Hawk's artwork and garden, the site-responsive artworks by Robin and Tietke, and pathfinding research by the art historian Alina Katzoff. Its ethos is encapsulated by Floris Noisus' photograph of Hawk at her window in 1962. She gazes outward as we peer inward, a reciprocal relation mediated by layers of reflexive glass and foliage. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.